what's up what's up what's up everybody it is your girl rita and i am here to do another video for you guys if you are not subscribed to the channel make sure you go ahead on and hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button that thumbs up button that helps me in the algorithm of youtube and let's just get right on to it today you guys i'm going to be doing a video on my roasted chicken with carrots and potatoes and i'm going to show you just how simple you can do this just one uh pan or whatever uh, roasting pan meal and have just a great dinner that's quick and fast now what i have right here you guys is me some pieces of uh, chicken i have some drumsticks some thighs some wings um that i'm going to be using in this recipe and right here what i have is the vegetables that i wanted of course if it's carrots and potatoes we're going to have some carrots and potatoes but i just don't feel like you can roast anything or bake anything especially not chicken without you some um some but some what do they call bell peppers and some onions i just have to have that when i'm going to be doing anything now you guys i'm going to be living on the edge and i'm going to try to put everything in here and if i can't when you see the results they might be in my pan uh my um baking sheet but we're going to try so i'm going to tell you some things that uh you need to know about roasting some chicken dry meat high heat that is going to get you that beautiful color on your chicken and that's going to ensure that it just has all this flavor to it when you dry that meat after you clean it dry it off as dry as you can smother it with some slather it with some olive oil and then season it like you want to i'm going to do the same for my vegetables you guys and then i'm going to show you what i'm going to put on top of the whole thing and we're going to put it in an oven for Probably about an hour, you guys. That depends on how many pieces you have, what sizes you have, and things of that nature. What you want is an internal temperature on that meat without going to the bone of 165. So let's get started, you guys. Now, it's really no um, rules to how to season chicken. But when it comes to chicken, for me, it has to have all kinds of seasoning so i'll be throwing pretty much the chick the uh the uh kitchen sink in my chicken you guys so what i'm going to be using is the things that we know that we're going to use we're going to use some salt some pepper some garlic powder some onion powder and we're going to use some rosemary some uh paprika and some chili powder that's what we're going to use on this chicken so i'm going to season it up I'm going to get my olive oil on here, and I'm going to tell show you how it looks all seasoned up, okay? Hold on just a second. Okay, you guys, I am back. And so, as you can see, I have seasoned this chicken. Now, your chicken needs to have some color to it, you guys. Season your chicken. When I say season, I don't mean salt. I mean season with rich flavors so that your food will be pleasing and you will feel like you really did something season it okay so what i have right here you guys if i have my uh vegetables and i season these with the same seasonings that i use on the chicken except i did not use paprika and chili powder but i, but I wanted that color for the chicken so y'all pray for me as i go with god as i seek and i put <laughs> all this in this um in this big dutch oven as I put it in the, and it, that it'll fit. I may end up not putting everything in there. I can always freeze um, some of these, not the onions, but I can freeze the onions actually. So we're gonna go right down in here. As you can see, I kind of diced my potatoes like this because I have these carrots and I kind of want everything to kind of cook the same um, way and not be, not have any, you know, what do you call that word? I don't know why I can't talk today. Not have any hard vegetables. I want them all to be tender and delicious. And I definitely want all my carrots in here. And I want all of my potatoes in here. Which I'm probably not going to get all of them in here. But I think I'm going to stop. Because I need this. I just don't even know. <laughs> I haven't even put no chicken in here yet, y'all. Okay. So we're just going to put our chicken in here as well. Alright. And we're just going to spread it out really good. We got our little pan right there. We'll put our chicken skin side up now i will not be covering this you guys and the reason why i won't be covering it is because i want this to um get that roasted look i don't want this to look steamed i want my chicken to have color i want my potatoes and things to have color so i will not be uh, topping this 
with anything covering it or anything and like i said dry meat high heat we're roasting today okay so that's what we're gonna do now i'm gonna put these pieces in here and then i'm gonna show you something that i put on the top of here and i think you're gonna be interested in this hold on just a second okay so look at this beautiful pan of food you guys and if that wasn't enough to get you excited let's go ahead on and make us a little little gravy not like a little wine based little cooking wine based sauce to put on everything i have a chicken bouillon in here i'm gonna put me some oil in here about a half a cup of oil yes we do have oil on our uh vegetables and on our you know meat but we're gonna put some more in here and i hope i can open this cooking wine y'all know i got these hands huh i got these arthritic hands <laughs> Okay, I got it open, y'all. Good Lord Jesus. I had to be strong. What I'm going to be adding today, you guys, is some of this Holland House white cooking wine. Okay? Just going to put about a half a cup in here with this oil. All right? And I'm going to put me some browning and seasoning sauce right in here. Just a little touch of it. It's going to bring in some more of that black blackening that I want to get from here. Okay? We're just going to stir this, and we're going to go down between this meat and these veggies, and we're going to give it just a little bit more flavor. Just think about this, you guys. I haven't decided what I want to put with it. You almost have everything in this pan, but I think I'm just going to make some of that boxed, um, what do you call it, boxed um, stuffing maybe. And I'm just going to pour this mostly down the sides, you guys. You don't want to lose all of your um, seasoning that you have put on your uh, food. So that last little bit, I will pour on the top, okay? And again, I will be putting this in a 400-degree oven. And I will be uh, letting this get to an temp internal temperature of one. 65 for my chicken you guys and that's what we're going to do and we're going to check it out in about an hour okay and i'll let you see the final results okay all right you guys here we are we are at the end of the road come to the end of the road ah okay and it is ready y'all i got that beautiful juice down at the bottom of here and everything is tender and beautiful and just look at the color on that chicken you guys i didn't have to do nothing special to that i just cooked it and some of them are prettier than others let me get you this big old pretty wing right here look at that oh my god i'm so ready and this is pretty much a meal in a in a pot a pan or whatever you want to call this thing this dutch oven this is a, a meal in this Dutch oven, okay? And I am so excited about this. I'm going to pair this with some, um, what do you call that? Some good old cornbread muffins and uh, some, some green beans. Because I really didn't have anything green in here. A lot of potatoes, a lot of starchy um, veggies. So I'm going to throw me some green in there for some shits and some grins, okay? And we're going to tear it on down. I hope you guys find this one and another one that you want to add to your recipe box. And like I always say, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I will see you guys on the uh, other side. And don't forget your food ain't all the way live until it's been retitled. Love y'all. See y'all next time. Bye.